Hello, everyone. You are watching the live streaming of Xinhua News Agency. I'm Xie Hao. Now, I'm standing in Haidian Park, the first AI theme park in Beijing. Located at the northwest of Beijing, Haidian Park is a historic site of Changchun Garden, of Three Hill and the Five Gardens of Beijing. Uh, the Haidian Park uh, has an area of about uh, 34 hectares, and uh, last year, Haidian Park had received about 1.2 million visitors. The, in February this year, Haidian Park uh, had uh, the government of Haidian resigned a memorandum with Baidu to cooperate in AI transformation and take Haidian Park as a pilot to carry out this transformation. So in Haidian Park, the public can enjoy the AI applications here. And now, uh, the girl beside me is from Baidu, and she will tell us the details of these AI applications. So what can we see in Haidian Park? Mm -hmm. So as Xie Hao mentioned, this project is a collaboration between Baidu and the Haidian District Government of Beijing Municipality. And visitors can expect four things here in the park. The first thing is the smart runway or the smart tracks, where you can actually register by just scanning your face and you can have your workout data including time and distance registered in the park so basically all by just scanning your face and the second thing is the smart pavilion over there that you can just talk to and we also have the autonomous the Qinglong autonomous bus and we can later just have a ride from here and lastly we also have a future space which have a list of functionality and AI innovations of Baidu we can check out later one by one and now we can have a right here okay let's go okay now uh don't you can you introduce some basic information about uh the mini uh, driverless bus yeah sure so this is the king lawn minibus which is a collaboration between Baidu, Kinlan, and Intel. And this was first announced in this year's AI Developer Conference in July. So this is the first time that we actually opened this up to the public and all visitors in Beijing, they can just register remotely and then come here and then have a test ride. Okay, uh, so what, what will Baidu do? Uh, what, what will Baidu uh, do about the Japanese car? The future. Uh, okay, so this actually relates to a bigger plan of Baidu. So as our CEO puts it, it's never just about the smart cars, it's also the infrastructure. How can we build a smart city? So we all not only need smart vehicles, but also smart roads. So that is why now Baidu is working on the Intelligent Vehicle Infrastructure Cooperative System among others. So this is just one of the many things that Baidu hopes to empower future cities to have. I, I will uh, go through this this way. We can see uh, the, uh, there's a future space and uh, the future space is a showcase for the cut aging technology. We can uh, see at the future space there are many uh, interesting AI, AI transformations and applications. Now we, uh, okay, we can see the, the red way uh, in the park is a smart walkway. The smart walkway is uh, another useful AI applications. So uh, let's ask Duan, uh, Duan Lin, uh, can you introduce the walkway for us? Oh yeah, sure. So this is one of the four things that visitors can expect at Haidian Park. So basically what you can do is you register yourself by uploading a picture of yourself or just scanning your face is something that we can do in the future space later on. And you don't have to wear a smart watch anymore. You can just have your data tracked by scanning your face every time you run across like a, like a smart post that has a camera which can track your face and your workout data as well. So basically, by just scanning your face, you can have all the data related to your workout, including the distance, the time, and your burnt calories, etc. And we even have a ranking of all the people who have worked out in the park. And you can see who is the most active member in this community. And now we also have a, like a marathon competition this month, which 
is like a, like a competition for all the people who usually works out in the park and we can see that who is the person that runs most frequently with the longest distance. So have you ever run at a, a smart walk? <laughs> this, is, this is not close to my home, so not for me, but later we can go check out those people who work out frequently in the park. Okay, go on. I see this is a Tai Chi master. Tai Chi master uh, is uh, 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 well, Dan Lin, can you introduce uh, uh, Tai Chi master to us? Yeah, sure. So this is an application of our AR technology. And if you look at the screen now, you can see there is a Tai Chi master over there instructing the person what are some of the correct positions to have. And what you do is you stand in the center and then you can see there's a camera which tracks your movements and that's the standard movement in the center and then after you're done they can actually score you based, based on your performance. Okay, that sounds cool. Let's see uh, that there's a smart locker outside the uh, future space. Well, this is uh, future space and uh, uh, after a while, we will uh, use our face to enter the future space. Okay, can you introduce the smart locker to us? Yeah, of course. So in traditional lockers, what you do usually is that you put in a coin. And to get it back, you also have to get that little receipt and then scan that. So this new smart locker is using the facial recognition technology to simplify that process. So now to put your stuff inside, you simply click twin. Okay. Okay. See? Oh. It opens okay, it's very cool. swiftly. And uh, if I put something inside. Yeah, you put it inside. And now you can just click shoot. Okay. Okay. See, oh. It opens again. Cool. So the whole process is much faster than the traditional way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now mm. let's go inside. Okay. And how can we get in? So because we already registered, they have the facial recognition, so it recognizes our face. And now okay. the door is open. Future space. We can take a look here first. So from here, you can see the different kinds of technologies that Baidu is developing. Like for instance, <laughs> AR and VR. AR, we already experienced that at the Tai Chi Master Spot. And we also have DuoOS, which is our conversational AI system. And we also have like Paddle Paddle, the deep learning framework and facial recognition technology, which we just used. So over here is just like a list of the functionalities, like how are we using all these different technologies to make our life easier. So this one, this little cutie over here is our Xiaodu. It's our like a Baidu robot and you can actually talk to it. Now it's playing a song, Xiaodu Xiaodu. 今天天气怎么样? I just asked you what's the weather like today? So it just gives you the information about the temperature and also the air quality. For instance, just says the air quality index is 121 today and maybe you need to wear a mask. So you, also, you can also use it for different kinds of scenarios. For instance, one of the most frequent scenarios is in the kitchen because people sometimes they would need like a recipe and they want people to show them how to cook. Xiaodu, Xiaodu. Uh, Hong Shao Yu, how do you So now it shows you how to make a special kind of fish from the scratch. So you just have it in the kitchen and then it will take care of the rest. 
Okay, what else can uh, he do、yeah. for us? Uh, also for entertainment, for instance, to play some music, to watch a movie. 小度小度在哪？我想听当下好听的英文歌。So I just said I want to listen to some good, like a popular English songs. 小度小度在哪？我想听适合运动的歌。And I just said, play me some music that's suitable for workout. Wait, how how can it achieve? Uh, okay. So this is backed up by the Duo OS system that I just talked about. This is Baidu's conversational AI system, and until this month, there have been 150 million devices powered by Duo OS that are activated. And this is one of like China's most popular conversational AI product at the moment. 小度小度，在哪？停止。Okay, we can see 小度 is very smart, and uh, uh, the the AI application we can use to、uh, apply to our daily life, and we can see there's a AI magician. Uh, can we recognize our mood? Uh, let's have a try. Um, okay, okay, I. Okay. <laughs> so basically, what it does is it analyzes your facial expressions, and then these four characters over here, their facial expressions are going to change along with yours. So this is a very funny application. That's very fun. The Confucian and、uh, Li Bai and the Emperor and、uh, we can see they all look like me.、Uh, do do something what I do.、Mm -hmm. And there will be some special things happening when you do what's on that. For instance, you can 笑一笑 <laughs> That's not good enough. Oh, see,、uh, <laughs> now you're 摇头 <laughs> Or open your mouth. <laughs> oh, see,、uh, that's so interesting. <laughs> okay, what else can we experience? Uh, we can also like、uh, check out this screen over here. So this is this is like、uh, the statistics statistics of this future space. So over here, it tells you that we have received over twelve thousand visitors. So basically, we opened on November the first, and it's only one one or two weeks, and we have received this many people. And we also did like a satisfaction survey, as well as the average stay that people, the average time that people stay here. So you can see that the average time is around twenty five minutes. And it's around sixty-five percent male versus thirty-five percent females. Oh, how can you recognize it? Because we have cameras inside, so this whole future space is very smart. And when you walk inside, it can recognize your gender and your approximate age, etc. Twenty-five.、Mm -hmm. So smart.、Mm -hmm. And we can also see from here that the majority of people visiting the future space is. In the age span of 20 to 35, so mainly young people, and the frequent timing is in the morning. So the visitor number picked at around 11 o'clock. So that's the time period when people visit this future space most frequently. Okay, and how about others? Uh, we can also like、uh, one thing we didn't experience over here is that we can actually talk to it and to control. The light. 小度小度，在哪？开窗帘。好的。So now it opens the curtain for you, and what you see is real-time scene of this、Venice. is of Venice. Yeah, this is、okay. Venice, and it can also control the light for you. 小度小度，在哪？开灯。
So oh. now the light is open. <laughs> So in the future, maybe when you get back home, this is uh, actually this is something that's already achievable. So basically, when you go back home and then you talk to your smart speaker, saying something like uh, "I'm already home," and then it'll do everything for you. For instance, open the curtain, open the light, open the TV, etc. That's something that you can set. That can be very convenient for us. Yep. Okay. Oh.、Uh, Well, in future space,、uh, we have experienced、uh, some interesting AI applications, and、uh, we hope in the future more AI technology will apply to our daily life, and、uh, all of us will benefit from the development of technology.